Yo, man, welcome back to the video. Um, Jubilee been dropping long videos in the last week. They uploaded twice. Jubilee doesn't do that. Um, it got me kind of excited and ready to watch the videos, but they've been like 45-minute videos. And the first one, let me go check it out real quick what the title of that one was. Um, I don't know. It didn't seem like something that I really wanted to react to. What was it? Six millennials versus one seeker Gen Z. Like, who who, do, who cares, bro? Like, that, it's just weird. It's just weird. Really? But uh, this one sounds like a banger. I will not lie to you. Um, daughters get brutally honest with their moms. Um, I don't really want to talk too much about it. But shit, man, let's go, uh, let's go check the Instagram. Let's go see if those girls texted me back. Because as we know... Um, on this channel, if I see a bad bitch, best believe I'm, best believe I'm gonna hit that back in the messages. Um, Asia Norris is the only one that responded back. Thank you so much. That means a lot. And yes, I want to post so much more. Just waiting to get a laptop. Oh, word. Okay. This is this girl. Look, bro. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm gonna secure nothing, bro. I don't think I'm gonna secure nothing. I'm just gonna hit it with the nice little like. Um, and that's about it. See, Monica being weird as shit right now. I won't lie. Monica being real weird. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. She probably doesn't know how tall I am. I'm like 6'2". Um, this girl, uh, whatever. You know what? Let's get to the video. When I was in middle school and go through it, so... How and often? That ha and in high school. How often? Very often. What are these bitches yapping about? Fuck. Sometimes our closest relationships are the toughest ones. This guy thinks he's that dude from Survivor. We're about to unpack the most defining relationship of our lives. I'm Kot Takahashi, and today's episode of Split Decision is about mothers and daughters. Can mothers and daughters ever truly be friends? Let's see how close you really what? are. Are you ready, everybody? Yes! God, fuck! Yay! Let's do this. Damn. I feel responsible for your happiness. Make your split decision. Uh, Jubilee, you can't fucking do this shit to me, bro. You can't fucking do this shit to me, bro. Damn. Um, uh, three, fucking two, go. Go ahead and turn around. Hmm. Rachel, let's start with you. You feel responsible for your mother's happiness. We're very like connected to each other, and I. Nah, I need Shawty's link right there, all the way on the end. We got links in the, in here. Shit, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's wait, been, just wait. Um, we talked the about fuck like, on, bro. When Chill she feels out. Sad, I feel sad when she's happy. Damn. I'm happy. Artista, you feel responsible Artista? for your daughter's happiness. I do, and I'm really happy you don't feel responsible for mine. I just oh. think that it's like. My daughter is my total sunshine. Like there's all Aww. she has to do is exist and it makes me happy. And I don't know why that is. Now us four at the end here, we say we're not, we don't feel responsible <laughs> for I, happiness. I hope I taught you everything you need to be responsible Hold on, for wait, lock happiness. In. Mm. That's super important to me. And if you're looking to me to help you feel better or expect that I should, what are you gonna do when I'm gone? I don't, I want Damn. you to focus Mama, on your own. Mama, chill out. It's a Jubilee video. Being. I believe you, you passed through me to be your own person, and I want to facilitate that. I feel like I do. What the fuck is the name, though? I'm really, to really trying to. But, and you do. But us as her children shouldn't be the sole source. Uh, so you have to find it from, she always taught us that you have to find it from. <laughs> Fucking on that shit. What happened to the video? Fuck that question. I don't care. Izzy, Izzy, Izzy right here. Quick intermission, ladies and gentlemen. Watch how a pro does it. Uh, I've definitely uh, matched with her on Tinder, bro. Who the fuck is this guy? Wait a second. Now that I'm out of college, it's a quarter four, the fiscal year photo dump. It's not even speaking a real language, bro. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> All right, now we actually on this. Hold on, twenty three. <laughs> we cooking tonight, ladies and gentlemen. What you want, filet mignon? All right. <clears throat> Watch this. Uh, you know, thankfully, since I have eight hundred something subs, bro. 
easy now, right? Right? It should be easy. Shit, shout out y'all, bro. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to it. Fuck Being that question. This daughter can be now get out of here. In three, two, one. You have invaded my privacy. Huh. <laughs> All right, go ahead and turn around. Okay. I knew that. Mother say <laughs> no, but we got some privacy invasions up here on this side. Okay, Taya, so you felt like your mother has invaded your privacy. Well, I know for sure that there's some, some Snapchat pictures and memories that you've seen behind my back. I put spyware on all my children's phones. Ah, I put sure did. What the fuck? I sure did. You know that, that software that you, they're like, do you think your boyfriend's cheating on you? Yeah. I put it on all the phones. I put it on all the internet um, connections in my home, no. all the computers. That, so you know like every website? That works? You're telling me that works? I thought that was a scam. That works? Yo, my next bitch better be ready. I swear to God. Every single text, yeah. every single picture, every single call, every wow. single email. Oh, they, email. they better oh, be ready, bro. Daughters. Would you Send me that VPN. Mom looking at your emails and texts and snaps. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I really don't like that feeling in my body. <laughs> it's making me feel like my tummy is feeling weird. It's just, I don't know. Like location, I'll take that. Just like for safety, for sure. Texts and stuff like that, I don't know. I just got to feel safe somewhere. Even when I'm writing in my journal, I'm thinking about how, oh, after I die, someone's going to read this one day. And it freaks me out. And like, it makes me want to hold back and not say like my weirdest intrusive thoughts. And so to imagine someone like having access to that without giving that to them freaks me out. Hmm. Well, the question was asked when she was younger, would you ever read my diary if, if you ever found it? What, what happened to the audio? Freaks me out. Hmm. Well, the question was asked when she was younger, would you ever read my diary if, if you ever found it? Absolutely not. I, as a parent, I feel it's my responsibility. It's moms, right? Oh my God, my, my bad to give them that space. I want them safe, absolutely. And there are, you remember that time you were talking to somebody on, oh. I, yes. what happened? When I was like six, I was on MSN Messenger, messaging some friends, and a random person started messaging me. And uh, we started getting along, and they said something like, okay, well, I'll just, I'll pick you up. I have a green car. We can go get some ice cream or something. And you know, my mom has taught me so much about stranger danger. And also, by this point, I knew better. But I went upstairs to go get changed, and my whole family was waiting for me. My brother had changed his name on MSN to like lure me oh. into that situation <gasps> to see how I'd react. And I, I was like, oh, I was just coming up to put my socks on to go play with the dogs. I wasn't going. And they're like, we saw the messages. So that I appreciated. Yeah. And what happened? Now that's weird. That's so weird. Uh that is so weird. Did they link that shit in here, by the way? I'm just curious. Oh. Uh, nah, bro. Should I message Jubilee Media, bro? Brand. I ain't got no brand. Put me in a video, bro. Link me with these fucking Izzy, babies. I want to know why are you so oh, I knew you were going to come to me. <laughs> I know. I, I was like making eye contact. I, I, I saw her looking at me, too. Well, she used to take my phone. All right, next question, bro. Motherfucker, this shit's not the big three. <laughs> Did I sound like Kendrick? I think so. Bro, I'm not sitting here for fucking eight minutes. Let's go, bro. Next question. Oh, that's 15 Thank you. years ago. And I don't, I don't. Re this bitch yapped for eight minutes? <laughs> I promise you, bro. I can't do that shit. Do I fucking know? I need something. I need to feel something. I don't resent her at all Shit. for that. It's. I'm I almost just, there though. I don't. If she keeps yapping. I don't love that it's. That I'm it's almost still there. When you Google my name. I'm. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. There's nothing. Are we allowed to leave this? Are we allowed to leave this? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, great mom. I find bro. it hard to be a hundred percent honest with you. Mm. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Shit, I, I find it hard to be honest with anyone. All right, go ahead and turn around. All right, I am calling y'all wow. out. <laughs> <laughs> Parents and kids are 100% honest. 
I don't need to tell her everything all the time, every thought that goes through my head, but if I wanted to, I could. Do you feel safe enough with me? Mostly, actually, Are there yeah. things that you just don't feel comfortable sharing with your mom? I you feel 100% safe sharing for whatever reason. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think, I think I've like had to ease my parents into at accepting me 100% for who I am. Fair so they're enough. gonna hear about dates and they're gonna hear, hear that I like slept over at someone's house sometimes or last night I smoked weed in front of my mom, which I don't know if I've ever done. <laughs> but it's just like, yeah, you're staying at my house and I smoke weed, so I'm gonna smoke. Uh, but that feels like, uh, it's like we're just kind of inching towards 100% honesty with those kinds of things. I came out to my parents about a year ago mm -hmm. and I was really nervous about uh, about their response, but again, I was like, this is my life and you literally just gotta deal with it or you're not gonna be part of it. Mm -hmm. And that's just, that's just kind of how it goes. Yeah. But I am kind of like interested in my first girl and I'm curious how my mom will handle that if I end up dating this girl. All right. And well, like, how do you think you would handle that <laughs> if, she, if she dated a girl? Well, I, well, if she dated a girl, she dates a girl. But um, I, I love the question I get. Now, mama, don't get all Republican on Jubilee. You might leave with a couple bullet holes or Something in your from church. I don't people. know, bro. Will you accept your kids if they ever come out? Will you still love them, or will you disown them? That's my that's my favorite word, disown. Black people never think about owning people. So, bottom line is that's my baby. I'm not gonna lie. How do you like respond to that as like the guy standing up there, bro? <laughs> Don't say a word, bro. Don't say a word. Joe from, from Survivor. What's that guy's name, by the way? Jeffrey? I'm going to show y'all who I'm talking about. Survivor guy. This guy. Jeff. Shout out Jeff. That's not Jeff. Jeff got buff. This is Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, I wish I could react to some like Survivor clips. You know, get a little like, oh my god, if you win, you get a fucking handful of rice. That would be pretty cool. But. I may disagree with her. I may not embrace everything that she does, but I embrace and I love my daughter. I came to terms with it, and I have to continue to come, in, come to terms with it because it's, it's step by step. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, I'm fine with everything because that's what we're forced into in either or, and I refuse to do that. I am gray in a lot of areas, and when it comes to my children, I want to discuss it more and more and more. Love that. I may never come around 100%. As long as she knows, I'm still here for her 100%. And again, she is a great woman. person. She's independent, makes her own decisions. And you're okay with that? Uh, if I had a magic wand, uh, I think I would take the embracing, you know, rather than, I feel like it's a little bit like, hey. She looked good for her age, too. The sin, love the sinner. And it's like, okay, sorry, I'm putting words in your mouth. I'm sorry. But th that that's that's a little of the energy I get. Butt. But it's like, like, oh, I'm not a. All right, next question. Yo, I took this, bro. Shit. Let me show y'all real quick. We might as well. We might as well. You know what I'm saying? We might as well. I might as well show y'all. Uh. Look, it's right here, bro. How do they do? 12 views? No, that's not it. 27 views? Shit. 27 views? Wow. Wow. I was supposed to be viral. Wow. It's all right. Uh, my mama walked in, bro. Go watch it. <clears throat> All right, bro. Damn, we get it. Shit. Didn't want there are times I needed you, but I didn't want to bother you. I want to bother you. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. All right, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> huh. Mm. Rachel, I'd love to start with you. Yeah, um, I, I can't think of like a specific time, I guess, but I feel like you will do everything to come to my, my rescue and, and help me with whatever I need to do. And, and I know sometimes that like, um, even if it's like very difficult for you to do that, 
But I know you have a lot you're dealing with in your own life, in your own space. And so I try. You know what's interesting to think about, bro? Your parents, bro. <laughs> this shit's like some like Pinterest fucking shit. Off my dick, all right? Off my dick. It's a good quote. It's a good little fucking quote, bro. Say, don't get mad at your parents. It's their first time living life too. Let me hit it again. That shit kind of deep, bro. But I did solve my problems on my own when I can, um, and then lean on you when when it's too much for me to kind of hold. She's so strong. Like this woman is badass, and she runs her own company. She has all yeah. these, like employees that she's bossing around and just like running the world. So of course, there's a lot of like. Like, I want to be that, too, and I want to show you that I can Aww. be that, too. And, ooh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> and, ooh. Aw. But, baby girl, it's, it's, it's okay to be vulnerable and ask for help and all of that other stuff, so. But not if you're a fucking guy! Fuck! Um, and in some ways, it makes me feel sad if that's the, if the role model, if the interpretation of a strong woman role model is that then you can't be soft and vulnerable, then we're doing something wrong. And so let's all please make a pact <laughs> that just because we all have our strengths and we can all be these badass people, we still get a pass at, man, having bad days and needing help from each other and calling. So, um, and I think it's like help. me learning. All right, enough of the soppy bullshit. Next answer, thank you. Conflicts mostly and I just knew like there was something and I wanted her to go. This is the last question? To figure that out. But... Okay, yo. How the fuck you gonna talk? For goddamn 12 minutes editing. What the fuck? Um, I she went, I think she didn't know who to turn to. She didn't want to put that on her kids. Oh my uh, gosh, so we bro. didn't we didn't understand where it was coming from. We just experienced the brunt of it. Mm -hmm. And it was confusing, but she has told us time and time again she doesn't want to bother us. The, the brunt of it. Uh, uh, we didn't hand, handle conflict well. We were a little explosive growing up, and we're all getting better. We've all worked on it. It was loud. When we were angry, we got loud, like uh, the whole family. And um, yeah, I've worked on it. She's worked on it. But it was just like, OK, this is coming from somewhere, but no one really knew where. And it was, yeah, it was confusing. Mm -hmm. hmm. Is that what you were standing on yes for? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I still, still don't share a lot. But since she talked me into going to therapy, it's been awesome to talk to someone that's completely unattached. Mm. Cool. And it, because in, in the black culture, and I, you know, I'm speaking generally, I don't know if everybody does it, but most black families have a strong, strong pecking order. And who's at the top, you don't mess with them. You don't talk about them. You don't call them names behind their backs. You don't talk about your mom to your best friend. You don't say that stuff. And you certainly don't talk to your children about your parents or growing up. You just don't do that. So it's a strong uh, tie on me in the black culture where you just do not do that. And so she's talked me into going out and finding somebody to talk about, talk to. Izzy, you're, do you know why your mother's on yes? No, I actually am very curious to hear this. This is, this is a shock. Izzy, uh, I DM'd you, please answer me back. It's been uh, 10 minutes. I'm losing hope. Day by day, second by second, the only thing on my mind is you. Someone clip that and send that to her. Thank you. Oh, you know, this is the price I have to pay for not feeling responsible for her happiness and not wanting her to be responsible for my happiness. So I'm standing here because there's no such thing as black and white and there's no right decision. Now be careful with your words, lady. <laughs> Be very careful with the next couple words. Look, I zoned out. All I heard was black and white, and I know Shawty looking at Shawty right now. So be careful with your words. Vamos. There's no wrong decision. There's only consequences to your actions. And this is the consequence, is that if I share everything with you, that's a lot to carry. So I love it. Okay. Maybe I should have paid attention. I thought Granny's was about to throw down. No offense, Izzy, your mother's beautiful. Izzy, if you look anything like your mother, I'd be such a happy man. 
this woman. Clip that one, I know, too. y'all are similar. I absolutely you. That's right. I think <laughs> you and me, girl. <laughs> Best friends after this. That's right. <laughs> I actually have a question, because it sounds like some of you have been through divorces or... In the process. In the process, even better. So this <laughs> this has been something that was very difficult between my... Yo, I need her ad, too, bro. Fuck it. We might as well, right? Shit. Where's she at? I don't think Mama got Instagram. Fuck. Damn. Daughter and I, Fuck. again, my daughter, best friend. Fuck. She's so smart. She was a witness to my marriage. Um, so who better to help me through that? And yet I felt that conflict oh. of, is this the right thing to talk about with my daughter? Do I burden her with this big decision oh. about a divorce knowing, like, we have these different relationships. It's her father. She loves her father. She's my best friend. I need her. I know that her voice will bring me a lot of wisdom. Um, and, and I handled it in a certain way. I don't think it's appropriate until they're older. Vamos. Do what you gotta do, shawty. Way. Don't know if it was the right or the wrong way. But I would be very interested to know how you guys go through that. Like, do you bring your daughters into when you went through a divorce or when you're going through a divorce, do you use them as counsel? Mm. I lied to her at first. Actually, what? That's what I lied to them about mm. when I was leaving their dad. Oh yeah. You lied to her. I lied to my children um, when I left my husband, mm. and I told them we were going to go on a vacation and visit their favorite cousins, and that they we was going to be for the entire summer, so they should pack all of their favorite things. And then I left their dad. Mm. And you took wow. the kids? And I took my children. Okay. And that oh. was 2010, and we moved into a hotel. How old were they? Taya, it was pretty devastating for her, too. I think you were 10 or 11. You were How am I yeah, packing the PlayStation at, Right after fifth grade, going into sixth grade. Right. Wow. What was that like for you? I think something me knew, because I'm, I'm like a little bit older, but I still was like in a little bit of denial and I was like, okay, cool. We're gonna go hang out with my cousins for the summer. We do that all the time. Like we always come up to LA and hang out with family. Um, but when I realized that it had happened, I was like, dang, like, We're not so summer's about to end, which means I'm gonna have to make all new friends. <laughs> Yikes. And Why? I'm like this tiny little brown girl with a gap at the time because I didn't have braces. Wearing Yo, I used to have a gap too. Oh my gosh, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for giving me braces. Oh, my God, bro. I'm not saying if you have a gap, you ugly. I ain't saying that. Just me personally, with my fucking peanut head shape, if I go bald, buzz cut, shit look like a olive almost, bro. With a gap, bro, my shit was like, uh, uh, bro, it was a big-ass gap, bro. It was honestly unbelievable, bro. I don't know how anyone crazy, even talked like, to me, looked at me, Oregon, and these people are gonna make said hi like, to me. Oh, this is gonna be great. Breathe and in my think, direction. Um, it was devastating because I didn't Nonsense. know like when we were gonna see my dad again. Were you close with him? Oh yeah, besties, besties, besties. And it, it was also really confusing for me because my mom is like the type to like she'll never say anything bad about my dad, like because they're also best friends. They were, you know what I mean. And so I love that because I don't really? want to like, choose sides or like <laughs> um, feel like I'm hearing negative things about someone who I love and put on a pedestal just as much as her. Um, but it was confusing for me because I was like, okay, so we left him for good, so it seems. I'm about to start sixth grade. Um, but you have nothing bad to say about him, at least mm. to us. So I was confused. I was hurt. I was scared to make all new friends. Yes. But I knew that at the end of the day, like, I needed to stand by you your mama kind of kind of looking good too or Arteza, you got you got something down hold on wait hold on wait hold on wait 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 oh shit is this my competition damn oh fuck guys i don't know if i can do this bro guys i don't know if i can do this bro I don't think I'm big enough, bro. I don't think I'm big enough, bro. What's she doing down here? You ain't Serena Williams? Nah, hold on. 209 followers? Nah, I really... I can't message, bro. Or Come on, nah. Come on! 
on! Empower you to be, feel like you made. I'm sick of her ass, bro. Oh. And that's when I knew I needed to make a change. Wow. But I thought I was doing the right thing. I wanted to give my children a two parent. Go ahead. Whatever. Yeah. I can't DM Positive you. Next one. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Next is a you know? <laughs> <laughs> But I didn't gotcha. want to cause them any more pain, and their dad is. Yo, they've really yap for fucking. <laughs> That's impressive, honestly. It's about so, <laughs> my, my movement was definitely. Oh my gosh! Bro. Make sure they continue to love their dad, and their dad and I have decided we're going to move through this thing, continue as a family, and we have. You have a nice. bad habit that worries me. In three, two, one. God damn. Bad habit that worries me. In three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> I love that all the mothers are like, yep, got some bad habits. Okay. Shut up, but Jeff. Let's start with the, the one fuck? daughter on yes. I think you get really into diet culture. And she looked good though. Damn. She looked good though. Hold on. It's good most of the time, I think. I mean, you're super healthy, super fit. <laughs> but sometimes I I worry that it's, you know, not as good on your own like body positivity. Well, even though I would love to get on Ozempic, there's no doctor that would prescribe it. So <laughs> you are correct. Like I do I am always looking for the Oh, fuck. Pad. You guys saw that. All right. Uh, Heather, <laughs> you, you moved to yes, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does have When I heard diet culture, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? I okay. mean, I get on you about this. I feel like we just talk about bodies too much and, like, what's wrong here and all that. And I would, I would like you just to love yourself now, you know? Not when something changes. You have defined the way I see the world. Three, oh, this one's two, sweet. one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Bro, just fucking lie. Damn, bitch. She gonna be mean like this to me too? Fuck. Don't clip that. Do not send that to her. You've shown me how much of a badass a woman can be in the world and how to hold yourself as that kind of amazing woman. And that definitely from a young age like helped shape the way I approach the world and the way that um, I tried to live my life and hold myself. Thank you for that, baby. That's so sweet. I mean, you made me a mother. So it changed how I define family, and it changed how I understand love. And that has changed everything about my life. So to sweet. live in a great world, like I do, is to not allow anyone to define your world. But rather, you let a lot of people mm. define your world. Because mm. for you to define your own world is completely selfish. And so, no, you have not defined it. You have expanded it. It feels like it would be a lot of pressure to be your like life definition, I think. Uh, and you've massively influenced my life. I think that's impossible for you to be my mom and not have shaped me hugely. But yeah, I'm defined by my mom, my dad, my brothers, all my friends, my experiences, my breakups, all of that has defined me. What you want to know? My dog. <laughs> I love my dog. She's not, she's and not kidding. And especially oh Rocky. She's not yeah. kidding. Thank you all so much. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for. Oh, so, man. From the bottom of my heart and Shut. everyone watching right now, thank you for your honesty, your authenticity, and your vulnerability today. And I think a hug is in order. Can you please Yay. get together? Oh, uh, love is real. Group hug, guys. If we're hugging this shit, fuck it. Thank you for watching this episode of Split Decision. Be sure to check out our next episode, Friends with Benefits. Are these couples really just friends or is someone hiding their true feelings? This one's sure to be super sexy. Check. Jeff, slow down. Now, Wait, where's it at? Where's it at? What the fuck did he just open with? Stop making new men. Oh, okay. I thought it was something else, <laughs> bro. Yo, shout out Jubilee, well, bro. Well, she used to take my- Shout out Jubilee. Let's go through the comments, maybe. I'm sorry, but if my parents ever put spyware on my devices, they wouldn't have a child anymore. I think that's so embarrassing. All right, user XV. Let's check out the profile. Not much to look at. All right. Um... 
Let's go back to these comments Well, she real used quick. to take my phone when I was in this. Julie dropping bangers. I agree. Great video. Absolutely great video. Uh, please thoroughly review any sponsorships you take. BetterHelp has been known to incredibly harmful and toxic. Why are you on dick, fizzy stick? Whatever. Um, yo, appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you watching the video with me. And uh, if you're new here, hit that sub button, like button. Um, send me five dollars too if you want. Fuck it, I might as well. Uh, peace out, bro. Thanks.